Leafs Nation, how the hell we feeling tonight? After an awesome night last night, 10 o'clock puck drop in Arizona, we're exhausted, but we watched a good hockey game, and you go to Vegas tonight, second night of a back-to-back, -back, Morgan Riley coming back, and everyone having that feeling of, well, Moe's going to be back for this game, they're obviously going to lose it, well, wrong, Leafs win 7-3 over the Las Vegas Golden Knights, I can't say Las Vegas, Vegas Golden Knights, in Vegas, now I understand. They don't have Jack Eichel. They just put uh, Mark Stone on IR. I completely understand that. Before we go any further, Leafs fans, I'd love to go live during games with you. And I'm going to say it at most beginning of video or the beginning of most videos because I really want to get this going here. Um, follow up the TikTok page. The link is down below. We're sort of TO Sports Talk on TikTok. When we hit a thousand followers, I can start going live. And we could have watched a game like this together. We could have reacted to that first period together. It would have been so fun. The link is down below for that stuff. Let's see if we can get it rolling here. And uh, yeah, I'd love to get it ready for the playoffs. That'd be so much fun. But again, it's up to you guys to follow the page and it's up for me to continue to pump it. All right, let's break down this puppy because ho oh, ho ho, what a hockey game tonight. Again, second night of a back-to-back. -back. Morgan Riley back in the lineup. You're playing the Vegas Golden Knights, who I understand have lost three in a row at home, and they're not playing the best of hockey, and they're hurt. But my goodness, the Leafs dominated them. Let me go through the Vegas Golden Knights injuries so people actually have an idea of what's going on there. They have their goaltenders, Aiden Hill, who going into play today, a 929 save percentage in that Vesna Trophy conversation. Even Logan Thompson, a 909, still ain't that bad. Now you look at their forward core, obviously William Carrier's hurt. Um, where else we got here? Jack Eichel, Brett Howden, uh, Mark Stone. So obviously Jack Eichel and Mark Stone are obviously the big names there. But you look at their decor, and this is where I, I, I scratch my head with people. Whoa, this guy didn't play. They allowed seven goals. They have their goaltenders. They have Nick Hag, Ben Hutton, <laughs> former Leaf. Former Leaf? I think it was Ben. He played for the Leafs. Uh, Alec Martinez, Brain McNabb. Uh, Alex Petrangelo, Shea Theodore, Zach Whitecloud. They had their entire decor and their goaltenders, and they allowed seven to the Leafs tonight. Yeah, I don't care about the excuses. Okay, thank you. And the Leafs were set on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. So, there you have it. Let's break down these goals, because I'm, I'm, I'm lollygagging too much. First period, can we talk about that almost goal from Vegas? Puck gets up in the air. No one knows where it is. It falls behind Martin Jones, but it has some sort of weird spin on the puck. It comes down, and instead of coming down and into the net, it goes, nope, we're going the other way. I don't know how the hell that works, but it stays out and still nothing, nothing. Then, Jake McCabe, uh, it's kind of a loose puck, really, and he finds it right in the slot, and he winds up, and it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, I wouldn't say it was a bouncing puck, but it wasn't a settled down puck, at least. And he just winds up, claps it. It's a knuckling puck. It goes off the goaltender, off the defender, and in it's a Leafs 1-0 lead. So you got a couple bounces there, and you got the lead 1-0. But from that moment on, albeit even before that goal, the Leafs were dominating zone time there. And after that, it was just onslaught after onslaught after onslaught. The fourth line of Reeves, Holmberg, and David Camp were incredible tonight. Absolutely incredible. Leading to Ryan Reeves getting a turnover in the offensive zone. Leading to David Camp with the puck. Going to the net hard from the, what was it, the right side there? And he goes around the goaltender. And it was a great save initially by Aiden Hill. But Camp has the wherewithal as he's falling down to kind of poke this thing past the pad. And it's a 2-0 Leaf lead. David Camp gets off the schneid with his fifth goal of the year and Ryan Reeves with the assist. If you're telling me the Leafs are up 2-0 and the guys who have points on the goals are McCabe, Camp, and Ryan Reeves, I think you're nuts. But the Leafs are up 2-0 and I don't care. We keep going. Three minutes after that, by the way, that goal was a minute 10 after the McCabe goal. And this one, 3-10 after the Camp goal. Again, Offensive zone, Bobby McMahon winning the puck battle, getting it to Tavares in the slot, and he fires this thing low glove on Aiden Hill, and it beats him. Back to back, it's crazy how, how sports works, isn't it? John Tavares hasn't, doesn't have a 5-on-5 five five goal since December 20th. He gets one yes, or yesterday, and then bang! 
There's another 5 on 5 goal for John Tavares, his 17th goal of the year at 14:20 the first period. McMahon and Robertson have assists on the goal, but they weren't done yet. Cuz of course not. Once again, dominating offensive zone time, using their speed, everything to the outside. Everybody's moving as well. No one's stagnant. The Vegas Golden Knights are a big, heavy team. You get them trying to move a lot, it's going to be tough for them. And that's what the Leafs did in that first period. They skated them to death. Nylander goes around the back of the net, and he finds Domi is a, right through the creek. Well, I went through, right through the slot. And Domi picks up, and I wanted the one time where he had to stop it, and the initial shot was stopped by Aiden Hill. Or was it, was it Aiden Hill at that point, or was it, uh, was that, um, no, it must have been Logan Thompson at that point. And he gets the rebound, pulls it from his backhand to his forehand, and I think it goes through Logan Thompson into the back of the net. Domi, his sixth goal of the year, Burt and Willie have assists. God, I like <laughs> Burt and Willie grab assists on the goal. At 16-11. So again, that is less than two minutes after the Tavares goal. So in a matter of six minutes and 11 seconds, the Leafs score four goals. And the Leafs, like, get this, guys. Get this. The Leafs have 23 shots in the first period alone against that Vegas Golden, Vegas Golden Knights defense on the second night of a back-to-back. Incredible period. One of the most favorite one to watch of the year in, in recent memory. It was beautiful. 23-14 in shots on goal. They were great. And shout out Martin Jones made all 14 saves in the first period. Now, it's funny. We talked about yesterday's game as the Leafs came out to start periods and were great. Yeah, it seemed to be the opposite today. Because 51 seconds in, William Carlson off a bad turnover from Matthew Nyes. Bad neutral zone pass. Just not just careless turnover. Um, and William Carlson just kind of walks down. It, I would have liked Martin Jones to have it. It's a shot from the middle of the ice and no screen. You want him to have it. But either way, 51 seconds in, now it's a 4-1 game. And I think I can speak for most Leaf fans when I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> we all felt the sweat yesterday when Arizona made it 3-2. Now it's 4-1. Let's not get too excited. And then midway through the period, once the Leafs have already settled this game down a little bit, Marner kind of pokes the puck to the point in the in the defensive zone. And two Vegas Golden Knights go for it. And they both look at each other like, well, you go get it. And neither of them get it. So Max Domi swoops in, grabs it, and he comes out on a breakaway. But he's got Shea Theodore closing down on him. And he's a great job shielding the puck as he's cutting to the front of the net. And he, I don't know if it was a one-hand flip or he gets the second hand on it, but he didn't get a lot of juice on it. But he fires it back far side and a beautiful goal from Max Domi. Second of the game, seventh on the year. Marner and fan favorite Simone Benoit have assists on the goal at 11.44 of the second period. The Leafs are up 5-1. That goal felt like a big breath of fresh air for Leaf fans. And they weren't done. They weren't done. Less than four, what, uh, less than four minutes after that. Puck's in the neutral zone. Vegas has it. And Ryan Reeves pokes the puck free. In comes Pontus Holmberg. And initially, I'm watching the game, right? So I, Holmberg enters the zone, and he's the defense is backing off a little bit. And it looks like he's going to drop the puck off to Ryan Reeves, which I thought was the right move. Reeves is right behind. He's got lots of space. Fine. And I think the defense thought that too, because Holmberg, using his big muscle to the net, great power move. And with Logan Thompson having the right-handed catching glove, he goes down and Pontus is like, all right, bet, I'm going to roof this thing short side on you. And he does. A 6-1 Leaf lead. And these are the goal scorers today. McCabe, Camp, Tavares, Domi, Domi, Holmberg. Beautiful. <laughs> it's great. And you're up 6-1 after two. Shots and goal, 10-5 Leafs in the second period. And Leaf ends, what have we talked about recently? You're up a bunch heading into the third. How do you play the third? Now, <laughs> it started shaky. You know, Marsha Schultz scored 59 seconds in. And then uh, Buck 25 in. Michael Amadio scores. And it's 6-3 just like that a minute and a half in. And we're all like, okay. Sweating begins again. First two shots of the period go in, and we're all crapping ourselves. And then they get a power play as well, and you're like, God, this is... <laughs> they kill the power play off. And then the Leafs, Austin Matthews... Uh, look, it wasn't Austin Matthews, really. It was Pontus. But he comes down to the left side, and Matthews is going to the net hard. 
punt is, I don't know if it was a shot that he just missed the net or if it was just a really nice, I guess, backdoor pass for Austin Matthews. But nonetheless, nice redirection from Matthews because it looks like it was going wide into the cage for goal number 52. Holmberg and Marner grab assists on the goal. And Marner and Matthews, look, as, as great as they've been recently, the story of the game is the depth today. And we'll get to that in a brief second here. Shots on goal for the game. Actually, no, screw that. Third period. You were up those, right? With all, you were up 6-1, then you were up 6-3. Shots on goal were 9-7 Leafs in the third period. You're one in shots again in the third period when you're up. It's nice. 42-26 for the game. Uh, three power plays total. Leafs didn't score on their two. Uh, Vegas didn't score on their one. Hits were basically even. 29-28 Vegas. Uh, very impressive. You know, you, you chase basically both their goalies. They were both awful. Aiden Hill, 3-on-20 shots. Logan Thompson, 4-on-22. Just, the Leafs were just cooking them. Cooking them. Martin Jones, 3-on-26. Eh, gave you a chance to win. That's all I got to say. Now, key players to the game. Usually we're ripping off the core four at the top. Not so much today. Max Domi, two goals. Five shots on goal today for Max Domi. He was awesome. Pontus Holmberg, goal assists, a plus three. Jake McCabe had a goal and a plus three. David Camp, goal, plus two. Matthews, goal, plus one. Uh, John Tavares, goal, plus one. Marner, two assists and a plus two. And here we go. You ready for this one? <clears throat> Benoit, an assist. Reeves, McMahon, Robertson, Bertuzzi, Nylander, all with assists. And Benoit was a plus three. Reeves with a plus two. And how in the world was Nyes, Brody, and Lilly a dash one in a 7-3 win? Ah, who cares? Who cares? Morgan Riley's back, Lee fans. That can shut those people up, shouldn't it? Oh, Riley's crap. They're great without him. Well, it seemed pretty good with them today, didn't it? And shout out Sheldon Keefe. You didn't mix the lines. You didn't screw with TJ Brody. You left him. On, I understand he was a dash one today, but you left him on the left side. Thank you. Continue to do so because it's working. And also, as I mentioned, when Ryan, when those guys, Ryan Reeves, Camp, and Holmberg were outstanding today, how many did Reeves play? Reeves played, what is he averaging this year? He's averaging a total ice time of 746. He played 1240 today. He was great. Well, who else we got? Where's Camp and um, uh, David Camp? 1339 and Holmberg 1241. Your fourth line gave you some great minutes and they were phenomenal. Great stuff from them. Nobody played 20 minutes today. Uh, not even on your decor. No, oh, oh, hold on. Lilligren played 21 and Brody played 22. But that's it. Your forward core... Uh, Tavares played 14, Marner played 19, 11, uh, where's Matthews, 18, 01, um, and where's, where's Willie, 16, 22, in a game like this, you can rest some guys, it's a beautiful sight, next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they are in Colorado though, and you're not playing a team without Mark Stone and Jack Eichel who have lost three in a row at home. You are, oh, they lost today. Colorado's actually not been great recently. 4-4-2 four, four, and two in their last 10. They lost their last game. It was an overtime game today to the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, but the last time the Leafs saw the Colorado Avalanche, yeah, they had a 3 nothing lead at home and blew it in regulation. Now, this team is playing a lot differently than what that team was playing like. And I think Colorado, I can't remember. I think they were red hot coming. I can't remember exactly what they were doing in Toronto. But either way... Two teams playing in very different directions. Leafs have won six straight. Colorado's been, yeah, recently. Do they have any injuries? Other than, you know, uh, Landis Cog, which, God, it's so unfortunate. As a pure hockey fan, it sucks. Uh, Francois is hurt, so you're going to see Georgiev. Um, okay, so Cogliano will probably be back. Uh, obviously, Landis Cog. Uh, they look over. On, they're, they're healthy. So, let's see what happens. Another statement game for the Leafs, and they have a lot of them coming up. Quickly, very quickly. I mean, it's a long video, but... Very quickly, we're going to go through the uh, schedule. You obviously have Avalanche. And then you come back home and take on Vegas again. Now, I don't care what you did today. You're playing Vegas again. Now, then you got Arizona, and you're like, okay, that's fine. Then you got Rangers in Boston. Buffalo, okay. They're going to play you tough no matter what. Boston. A really tough stretch for the Leafs. They started really damn good today. But you got Colorado on Saturday, 7 o'clock in Colorado. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and this dub today, because, oh, 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 that was fun. 
Hit that like button, I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, you guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. What you like, what you not like from today's game. For the Toronto Maple Leafs, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you're not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Raptors edition, tomorrow, 7.30 tip-off between the Raptors and the Hawks in Atlanta. Looking to win two consecutive? That's all I got to say about that, really. Jays edition Sunday, spring training edition. We'll be recapping the first two spring training games. And as for the Leafs, like we talked about, they're back in action on Saturday as they're in Colorado taking on the Avs. 7 o'clock puck drop there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and this game today. We'll talk to you guys then.